Hey everybody, um, I've got some really weird information for you. Um, I just got a piece of paper uh, left to me yesterday, um, and I thought my friends were playing a prank on me. You know, like I, obviously, I mean, you guys have seen my porch, you've seen what it's like. So I, I figured either my brother or one of my neighbors, you know, they were they they were playing a good joke on me. But um, it's from the I don't know if you can see. I don't want to put my information in there, but it's from the the USDA and animal plant health inspection service plant protections and quarantine smuggling interdiction and trade compliance program case number ebay bamboo seeds um, and my name's Aaron Thatcher so let me read off what it says to whom it may concern on Wednesday an attempt to reach you was made at my address by a USDA employee uh, with his name out of the Charleston office who appreciates some assistance United States Department of Agriculture obtained information which traced back to this location, person, or business, who is me, we asked for full cooperation in this matter. Now it also says, in this time, the USDA needs a contact from Mr. Thatcher. And it's got his phone number and his name, and he's an SITC officer. Now I had bought a bunch of, I've bought so much stuff, so many seeds on eBay, and, from all over the place you know I've I have gotten a few seeds from uh, from from Hong Kong because I couldn't find them over here I actually got a bunch of bamboo seed Moso bamboo and I don't know if that's what he's talking about I think it was maybe a year ago never planted it I was gonna mess around with it this winter and wanting to get around to it um, but I also bought some Moso bamboo from a seed company in Ohio but the Hong Kong stuff was cheaper so I bought, I bought those too I got them both so I don't know what it's about um, I'm gonna give the guy a call right here, and I'm gonna leave, put it on the speakerphone so you guys can hear it, and maybe we'll uh, we'll figure out what this is all about. Um, I'm thinking that he's gonna want to confiscate the bamboo seeds I got from eBay. That's my that's my take on it. So I'll check it out. Note on my door from you yesterday. Uh, my name's Aaron. Oh yes, sir. thank you for returning the phone call. The reason for my visit is again I'm with the um, U.S. Department of Agriculture, and we are working to stem the trade of illegal plant material via solo rebate. And a lot of times people do not realize that when they buy um, agricultural products, seed plant, that of rebate, that they're um, a lot of times they're people with buyers and knowledge of the fact that they don't um, have the final sanitary certificate permits necessary to import the product and then they leave it in the U.S. and they sell it to, um, you know, people of rebate. Yeah, um, I, I, I mean, I, I almost thought this was a joke at first, you know, I thought my, my friends were playing a joke on me, you know, uh, you know, I, I got a bunch of, I like to grow stuff and flowers and vegetables and stuff, so I thought one of my neighbors was just giving me a hard time or something. No, no. Okay, the, um, the, the plants that you bought were the um, Phyllostactus pubescens, the, um, the muscle bamboo. Okay. And um, did you plant them? N no, I haven't gotten around to it yet. I, I did some research and I heard it's pretty hard to do that, so I was going to kind of maybe mess around with it this winter. Um, I, I ordered it from, from two different sellers. I got one from the C uh I think it was a, a seed company here in, in Ohio or something like that, and then I got another one, uh, international uh, seller. I think. I mean, was is it just the Moso bamboo itself that's considered to be uh, illegal, or I mean, I didn't I didn't know nothing about I didn't know nothing about that. Yeah, that's most, most people don't. Um, the U.S. agriculture regulations prohibit um, bamboo, period, from all parts of the, the world. Um, you know, it's just legal to sell it, whether it's, you know, if it's a U.S., you know, sourced, um, plant. Um, you know, half the people imported, you know, bamboo seeds years ago prior to regulations being put in place. That's how you have different, uh, you know, Japanese timber and different, you know, bamboos from China that you can, uh, legally buy in the U.S., and those are fine, but when you buy bamboo seeds that were, um, directly, um, came from overseas and the records show these were I guess originated from Hong Kong from a um eBay handle one lucky seventy two. Okay. That you bought them from. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, they um, they were buying from an illegal source over in um, in Hong Kong, and they got them here in the U.S. And um, for, they must send them to you directly. I'm not I'm not quite sure. Um, but what I need to do, I need to pick up the, those seeds if that's possible. Okay. Um. Yeah. I, I mean, I. I, I don't I don't I don't mind I, I like I said I didn't know I was breaking a law um, I didn't know it was it was illegal to, to buy it you know I figured if it was on eBay or, yeah I mean I, I don't it was bamboo I figured you know bamboo grows there's a lot of people that farm it I think there's a couple places in Louisiana and Seattle and stuff and they got big old big old things I've seen videos on YouTube of and stuff so I thought it was pretty cool you know so but um, I mean I I mean I mean I paid for it is there a reimbursement or I mean can I get I mean, can I be fined for for this or or what? No, you, you can't. As long, long as you um, you know, turn over the uh, seeds and snow, there's no problem. You a, there's no fine for um, what happened here. Uh, USDA doesn't uh, provide reimbursement. You have to go back to the um, to the seller and see if they'll reimburse you for the um, for the product. Okay. That's the way. That's the way that works. All I have, I just have a document that I saw it's called emergency action uh, notification that just informs you that USDA is um, legally recovering the seed that were um, from Hong Kong. That's the only thing that I, that I got to uh, fill out. Okay. So the ones that I got from uh, the uh, seed company Ohio, that's they're okay. Far, far as I know, I can I can't. Um, I only have one. Um, one notification that um, you bought the seeds from the um, seller over in, uh, in Hong Kong. Unless this person from um, Ohio got them from um, you know overseas, I, but I can't I can't tell you. Uh, hopefully, the ones you got from Ohio are um, you know are okay. Sure, sure. All right, all right. I mean, it was only a couple dollars rather than you know cause a big stink about it. I don't mind, I don't mind, I mean, how do I do it? You want me to send them to you or you gotta, I mean, you come and pick them up or I mean. Yeah, I come and, I come and pick them up. Uh, that's a long, that's a long ways from Charleston. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I got, um, I got about 25 and I'm working on right now all across the state, so it's, wow. I'm constantly on the road picking these things up. That's, that's so, my job. So, I mean, is it just bamboo or is it just about anything? I mean, how does that work? Uh, the way the U.S. agricultural law is written right now that you have to get a, a inspection document called a phytosanitary certificate. And uh, that would be, you know, normally provided by the country of origin um, that's shipping or exporting the agricultural um, product to the U.S. There's some products that you have to have import permits for. Uh, sometimes uh, the products are, you know, are equitable, no problem. Sometimes not. It's just, it just basically depends. If you're interested in buying a lot of products from overseas, I generally suggest that you apply for a, um, you know, import permit. And that that way, when you apply for the permit, then they'll tell you yes, you can use this um, particular plant species, or, or no, you can't. But that's only if if people that are heavily collecting or, you know, or importing for like a landscape or, or nursery business. Sure, sure. No, I'm just, it's just me. I just do stuff as a hobby. I mainly just, I don't know, pick seeds up from, from national sellers, but I was, one bamboo, I mean, it's, uh, the people that I normally go through, you know, they only get like tomatoes and cucumbers and broccoli and maybe a couple types of herbs and stuff, you know, so to get bamboo, I just, I guess I had to go on eBay. I didn't know it was a... Uh, I figured it was on eBay, so I guess, I don't know, I guess I learned something new. Um, are, are you going to come out today and, and, and pick them up, or tomorrow, or how, how will that It'll, uh, but that's, if it's a work for you tomorrow, um, if you work, I can just leave them on your, um, you know, your front porch. Um, I can fax you the document, or however you like to you know, handle that. You can be home, to, you know, tomorrow. I'll be up there around 11, 10, 11, if you work. That's fine. I'll get you the um, document one way or another. Okay. Yeah, I might. Uh, I might be working, but my wife, she might be here. Um, so I mean, I could just yeah, I could just leave the seeds. I'll put them underneath my my floor mat or something like that. Or I think I've got some broccoli and or some some cauliflower out there. So I might just leave it next to that or something. Okay. Yeah. You just leave it out there and I'll like, put it in a ziploc bag or something like that. And just um, mark it. Um, 
So your wife will definitely be home so she can sign for the um, receipt of the pickup, or, or you don't, you're not sure? Um, I'm sure she'll be she'll be home. You know, if, if nobody answers the door, I guess, I mean, but, you know, she uh, she's supposed to be home unless she goes for a walk with my son or something like that. Okay. I'll probably be up there um, probably around 10 and 11 um, tomorrow. Okay. All right, Todd. Well, uh, I appreciate all that, I guess. And uh, I, 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 you schooled me today. I learned something new. So, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm just glad. I'm, I guess I'm not gonna get, get a ticket or something, <laughs> something stupid. No, no, no. You can't get a ticket for something that you didn't, you know, you didn't know about. Most people don't, you know, know about these regulations. And it's kind of, kind of, gotta be careful what you're buying over eBay because they're just eBay is gonna sell, you know, they'll sell you a rock if they can make money out of it so I'm sure they do <laughs> I'm sure they got plenty of rocks on there <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks a lot Aaron I'll be up there between uh you know around 11 um, tomorrow I'll pick those uh bamboo seeds up all right Todd I'll leave them out there for you all right thank you thanks bud bye